U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris is now outpacing Donald Trump in poll after poll in the U.S. election race. The latest figures show that the Democratic candidate is widening the gap with the former president. According to a survey conducted by Marquette Law School from July 24th to August 1, Harris leads Trump by eight points. Indeed, 50% of likely voters support Harris, compared to just 42% for Trump. Among registered voters, Harris also leads with 47% of the vote to Trump's 41%. For comparison, a May poll by the same school showed that then-candidate Joe Biden led Trump by just three points, as reported by Newsweek. Marquette Law School also found that when third-party candidates are included in the survey, Harris performs even better than in a head-to-head -head matchup with Trump, reaching 52% of the vote among registered voters to Trump's 48%. Likely voters are confirming this trend. They prefer Harris, 53%, to Trump, 47% a much better result than Biden has obtained in previous polls. Martha McCarty, a reporter for Newsweek, describes the new results as a substantial improvement for Democrats over last May's numbers. At that time, Biden and Trump were neck and neck among registered voters, and Trump was slightly ahead among likely voters. But this trend is not limited to the Marquette Law School polls. On August 6, the Marist poll found that not only would Harris beat Trump, 51% to 48%, but she also has a significant lead among independents, the most influential group of voters. Democrats have regained their momentum and confidence with Harris at the top of the ticket, said Liam Marengoff, director of the Marist Institute for Public Opinion. Harris has taken a commanding nine-point lead among independents, with 53% of the vote to Trump's 44%, a dramatic turnaround from July when she lost 14 points among independents. She also leads Trump by 14 points among women, 55% to 42%. However, it's important to note that the Marist poll shows Harris losing ground among men with a nine-point deficit to Trump, 54% to 45%. Even so, her results are still impressive. According to National Public Radio, Harris is particularly focused on black voters, college-educated white women, and politically independent women, groups that are helping to fuel her rise. She is performing 20 to 30 points better with these voters than she did when she was first elected, which translates into a notable improvement in the suburbs and among white voters overall. NPR's Domenico Montanaro points out that negative views on the economy aren't hurting Kamala Harris the way they did Joe Biden. However, Trump is still seen as more trustworthy on that issue though his lead has narrowed from nine points over Biden to just three points over Harris. Harris is also making gains on immigration, though Trump remains more trustworthy on that issue by six points, 52% to 46%. Harris, on the other hand, has a 15-point advantage on abortion rights. Whether this trend will continue remains to be seen, but one thing is for sure, the dynamic is shifting and Democrats appear to have regained hope as the election approaches, just weeks after Biden withdrew. The race for the U.S. presidency is more intense than ever. 